Hey, what's up guys? This is Airborne 1911 doing a review on this uh, 5.8 gigahertz first person view monitor, camera, and receiver package uh, for a SEMA X5C-1. Um, it's an upgrade kit. I already mounted it. It didn't come with any instructions or anything. This is what you included the monitor, the camera, the antenna, these two screws, and this bracket. Now when you get it, it's already going to come with this part mounted to the monitor. The bracket is this separate piece that you put these screws on. You just put it on, that's how it goes on, just like that. You can see that there's two holes here that'll line up with the holes on the transmitter. I don't know if you can see in there, but you'll see it when you do it. Um, and you just screw the antenna on. The battery it comes with wasn't charged up, so I had to just use one of the batteries from the quadcopter to do it temporarily. Um, this receipt. The antenna comes with eight channels. If you can see that, it says one, two, three. But this is a description of the channels that you can get. There's eight channels total. This is the 720p model. Um, but it works pretty good so far. I haven't actually taken it out to fly it. Um, I'm charging the batteries right now. Um, You'll see the monitor, it comes with a bracket to mount to the existing battery door. You'll see how I installed it there. Just make sure you have these, these channels match up with the receiver. And um, you'll see the wire, this black and yellow wire comes from the camera and goes to the quadcopter for the old camera you can actually control the camera from the receiver just like you do the original camera that came with the quadcopter you can record and everything and this a lot of people online say that the um, memory memory card slot right here doesn't work well it does work I don't know why they say that because if you don't have the card in, it'll come up on the monitor. Um, card reader error. So I plug this in. And you can actually record. It'll tell you how many minutes, how much length of video you have remaining. And how long you've been recording for. You can take pictures and everything just like you would um, on the old camera. This monitor shows you how much time you have record, to record much time you have left to record um i put a i have a 16 gigabyte chip in it on memory card and it accepted it fine so i'm not sure how big a memory you can go up to on it um it also comes with this charger it splits in two sections you see one of them goes into the camera and I have that charging. What this this camera has a battery built into it, so it chart it runs off its own battery. That's why you have to charge it. Um, the other end is this end, which I'm assuming can be used to plug into this. But when I try to charge it in here, it doesn't work. Some of the lights won't all light up, or whatever. So I'm just using the plug that came with it. Um, you'll see there's a, a light on here. When it's charging, it's lit up. When the light goes off, that means it's done charging. There's no other lights on. The camera has light. This is the on-off switch for the camera. Let me turn it on. When you push it down, that's on. And there's normally a light that lights up. 
I'll show you. I just turned it on. I'll turn the monitor on. And it should connect. Well, maybe it'll have a... It's not turning on. Okay. There it goes. Alright, you see the light on the camera? It always stays red. When you start recording, it doesn't turn green. Like the old, like the original camera that came with your quadcopter. See if you can see. Okay. Video seems pretty good. Um. All right, you see, it tells you this is how much time you have left to record. It tells you it's in HD. This has your battery up here. Which battery you have left on them? I think this is the receiver. And I'm guessing this is the quadcopter. I'm not really sure. Or maybe the I don't know what this, what these, what these are. I'm pretty sure this is the receiver. I'm thinking this is the camera on the quadcopter. I doubt it's the quadcopter battery. But I'm not sure about that yet. Haven't actually taken out the flight. Um, you can see this folds up, goes down. It's kind of hard to open when you first get it. You'll see there's two tabs. I don't know if you can see. There's a tab there and a tab there, and that goes down in here. You'll see it clips onto these tabs in here. So when you try to open it, you'll think you're trying you'll break it. Because I was worried about breaking it. I couldn't figure out how to open it. Don't worry about it. It won't break. So let me turn my car copter off so I can I won't kill the battery. And you'll see like when it's charged, sometimes that light it takes a minute to come on. It won't come on right away. So just give it a minute, it'll It'll come back on. Just give it a second. It'll, it'll end up coming back on. Um, looks like my battery's almost charged. This is the type of battery that comes in it for the receiver. It's a uh, 400 milliamp. See it? That's the type of battery that comes. Pretty sure it's a 3.7 volt. Just like these that are in the quadcopter. Um, you have to have this. These big ones won't. I can't put the battery cover on it with this in here. It's too big. It won't close. But it's the same type of connection. So if I were you, I would buy some extra ones of these batteries, which I didn't know about. So you can fly longer. Um... Other than that, I think everything is good. Um, I'm just waiting for this to charge and I can take it outside and fly it. Hopefully, the monitor seems pretty bright. We'll see how far it reaches. I don't have the antenna modification on here. I need to do that. Uh, in total, this thing was like 60 some bucks on Amazon. Everything seems to work. Only downfall, it doesn't come with any instructions or anything. There you go. There, the light finally came on. So, just to show you, if you see that, just wait a little bit. It's gonna, it won't come on right away. If you have, if you turn the camera on, then that light will automatic, it'll come on. But you want to have the, it should be on with the camera off. Like when you have the camera off on the cockcopter, it should be the off position. It should be to the right. Like if your quadcopter is facing 
that's forward that switch should be to the right should be the right when you're charging it see it right there when it's to the right that light should be on that means it's charging when the light goes off that's when it's done charging it's the same as your chargers right there um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to try to answer them the best I can. This is Airborne 1911. Thanks. Make sure you like my video.